Okay, I'm hopping on here real quick. Nothing fancy. I just want to get this information out because it's happening now and it's pretty catastrophic. As you guys can see, what's going on here in the United States, it is seriously tearing up Texas. And what we want to know is what it's got left, the tornadoes it's going to bring next, and where it's headed next. Important information you guys need to know about coming right up. NBC News reporting Tropical Storm Barrel live updates. At least two people have not made it as of now. And all of this has happened after this thing has made landfall on the Texas coast. Check this out. Almost three million people out of power in Texas. And this thing ain't done. It's about ready to conquer some other states. Can you guys imagine not having power? Three million people not having power. The chaos that endures, the preps that you need to be thinking about, prepping for food, power for your refrigerator. I don't know if these guys are needing AC right now because that could be a big deal. And then you've got on top of that, the winds. I personally have experienced around 30 mile an hour winds. What's the fastest speed of wind that you guys have experienced? Put it down in the comments, let me know. I know at 30 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, stuff is flying across the homestead, flying off the deck. I'm pulling it out of the river if I didn't have it strapped down at 30 miles an hour. So for these guys to experience 70 to 80 miles an hour blasting through Texas, I can't imagine. And then it just came through the Caribbean, 140 to 170 miles an hour. Holy smokes, ripping off roofs. So I, let's see what NBC I think it's NBC. Let's see what NBC says. This this just came out right now. And then we're gonna get into where this thing's headed and the tornadoes it might chop up and uh, get you guys some more crazy images that I pulled off online. It's just so you guys know, please share this out. Make sure people, there's, I, I talked to people in Texas not too long ago and they didn't even know what was going on because a lot of people don't watch news and you know, you never know what the news is gonna show anyway. So they had no idea that this was even going on and it was headed their direction. So shares are heavily appreciated. Um, likes on the channel, comments, help it get out to a lot more people. But let's dive right in. Guys, this is down in Houston. I mean, what is the situation? I'm live on the ground there in Sugarland, Texas. Uh, Kathy, you, you are right there in Houston. I mean, what is the situation? What's happening there behind you? Hey, ladies. Um, yeah, so... As you mentioned, Barrel has already made landfall. It is weakened, but it is packing quite a punch. We are along Interstate 10 in Houston, and it's incredible to see what we're seeing right now. Flood water is actually going over the wall right now, and it's actually cutting off this interstate in both directions. So a lot of these vehicles, they are trying to go through these flood waters. A lot of them are getting stuck. Uh, in fact, there is one vehicle over there. It's unclear if anyone is in that car right now. But as you can see, they're not going anywhere for a while. Um, this is something that we have come across in probably the last 30 minutes or so. But this is something that we are seeing across uh, Houston, uh, the greater Houston metro area. In fact, we spoke with one gentleman who said he tried to help someone who was stranded not too long ago. But it's incredible to see this because the cars are stuck. A lot of these vehicles are staying put or actually going the opposite direction, the wrong direction to get away from this right now. But as you mentioned, flash flooding, a major concern. Uh, these wind gusts, we're still feeling them. I think at last check, some of the highest wind gusts reported 80 miles per hour at the height of the storm. But keep in mind, this is a storm that we've been tracking for over a week now. But as you can see, still see, it's, it's quite powerful. Guys? Yeah, those are serious winds. Kathy, we know it's still a very dangerous storm with possible tornadoes and flooding forecast. What, is, what's it, what are you hearing about in terms of where Barrel is okay, headed next? Okay, I'm going to show you guys some images. I mean, this is what I pulled off. Some, some people posted this. These guys looking out this window. I mean, that looks like AI. It looks so fake, yet it's not fake. It's so real. And this is what's going on right out in their yard. I mean, those are wind gusts that could if the, the wind direction was different it would take out those windows i guarantee you so this is what they're experiencing it's pretty darn scary here's another video i want to show you right here you can see somebody driving by tj maxx the whole parking lot looks like a mess um 
they had some type of event it looks like a parking lot here's another crazy video right here here's another crazy video right here houston texas you can see cars and this is a road this is not a canal this is a road and an underpass and cars are almost completely submerged and that was just this morning and this thing is cooking its way right through texas and it's going to hit other states and have high possibilities of tornadoes i'm going to show you exactly the path and where it's headed and what speeds is expected here just a second I think I got one other video I want to show you here. Um, some of the, some of this is some of some of this is what people experienced like in the mess of it. I mean, you can see lightning, you can see power lines getting taken out. It is furious, absolutely furious. Wow, I think this is this is flipping car business right here. Here's another roadway. Look at this. These cars are floating down the river by K bobs. Wow. That's pretty crazy. I'm going to give you a couple more images while I read through a few bullet points. The latest on Barrel's approach to Texas. Hurricane Barrel made landfall on the Gulf Coast, Texas early today, which is Monday. The National Hurricane Center said Barrel hit near the coastline town of Matagorda, Texas, about 85 miles south southwest of Houston, packing a maximum sustained wind of 80 miles per hour life-threatening storm surge damaging winds gusts and flooding rainfall continued to batter the southeastern texas the hurricane center set two people didn't make it after trees fell on their homes in harris county texas as hurricane barrel made its way north through the state officials said the storm has now claimed the lives of at least 11 people in the past week in Venezuela, Jamaica, Grenada, St. Vincent, and Grenadines, and now Texas. More than 2.7 million customers are without power right now. Last bullet point, barrel weakened to a tropical storm after causing havoc in the Caribbean and Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, but strengthening yesterday from the hot water of the Gulf of Mexico. And that's kind of what we were saying earlier this week in videos that I'd already put out that this thing was gonna pack a secondary punch due to the Gulf of Mexico's warm, warm waters. And we put out quite a few warnings um, for Texas and our Texas peeps. So hopefully guys, you guys took some provisions. The big question is right now, what's gonna happen, where's it going? USA just put out another update. Where is Barrel's remnants headed next? Flooding, rain, tornadoes possible. While the wind and storm surge threat from Barrel has diminished heavy rains and the chance of tornadoes will continue inland through the week. So guys, keep prepping because it's gonna hit this area right here. By Tuesday, Barrel should weaken from a tropical storm to tropical depression as its center tracks inland, inland over East Texas, the Weather Channel said. It is likely to merge with a front to portions of Ozarks, Mississippi, and Ohio Valley, Great Lakes, and interior Northwest over the next few days. While the wind and storm surge threat from Barrel has diminished heavy rains and the chance for tornadoes will continue through the week. We're talking about dozens of states from Louisiana to New York. Um, you can see right here in this image that that's gonna be kind of the course. So if you're in that course, be prepared. Um, I'm not sure how much rain it takes in your area to start flooding, 
Um, I'm not sure if you guys are in a tornado prone area, but those are the precautionaries that you need to be watching out for. So anyway, I wanted to get that out to you guys really quick. Nothing special on fancy editing, nothing like that. Um, time is, a, is an essence here for people being prepared. So keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.